Hi, this is Tom and welcome to today's RIM Marketing Minute. Today I want to talk to you about return on investment in your marketing, uh, but I want to go a bit farther and talk to you about accountability with that. And if you're going to do that, you've got to talk about measurement and metrics. And so I want to give you four brief and effective ways to measure uh, return on investment of your marketing. First, expense to revenue. Uh, expense to revenue is a fairly easy one to figure out. If I invest one dollar, what am I going to get in return? Well, we know in the rim business that we, we get a nice long scale return on an investment. But still, if I'm going to invest a dollar, I want more than a dollar in return. Correct? Well, I, frankly, I, I want a whole lot more than that. And because of the nature of our business, I, I want big numbers on that. So I, I want one to tens or more. But keep remembering that uh, we've got that long-term advantage so that we can sink more dollars into our marketing investment in order to generate that nice return on investment. So uh, simply put, if you get a minimum box account, $50 a month, uh, and it cost you $30 to get that lead, and you know that a five-year contractual return on that is $3,000, man, I'll pay $30 all day long to get those leads, won't you? Second approach is percentage of leads accepted. Uh, it, it matters that you know not just how many leads you get, but how many of those leads are effective in terms of moving them into a sales process. So not only does it matter what your return on investment is in the big way, but it, it matters uh, how those leads that are generated pan out in the long run. Because if your marketing approach is somewhat flawed, uh, you're going to get poor leads on a regular basis. You need to be measuring that so that you know what kind of leads are the most effective to you. Thirdly, what's the cost per qualified lead? So if we figure out what the right kind of lead is, what's it cost us to get that lead on an ongoing and regular basis? And then ultimately, what's our gross response or cost per gross response? Uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to factor in a, a number of leads that aren't working for us. So what's our overall cost per lead? What's our cost per qualified lead? And those are slightly different. Ultimately, though, if you're not measuring this kind of stuff uh, and you're not testing to ensure uh, that there's better ways to do things, you're, you always run the risk that you're spending your marketing dollars inappropriately and unwisely. I hope that helps. Start.